I... I said before, I have a strong sense of smell. It wasn't really difficult for me to notice. I... I won't lie to you. My head is swimming. My body is on fire. It's been so long since I've been able to be intimate with anyone, much less wanted to be. The fact that you can look at me and and see a woman, one that can excite you even a little, is... I'm flattered, but no matter what my body might be screaming at me, what my desires are saying, I watched you bury Carissa today, at least what you had left of her, and I know that physical reaction and emotional desire are two different things. I am not her. And I don't seek to be. I don't think I'm truly ready for that, either. The moment was nice, though. Thank you both for the massage and for staying with me. Well, it's getting quite late and the wine is starting to make me sleepy. Enjoying the view, are you? <laughs> There's really no need to apologize. It's all right. To be honest, I'm surprised it's taken you this long to try and sneak a peek at me while vaping. It's been almost two months, you know. It's only natural to be curious, after all, at least in some regard. I figured as much. Your face told me all I needed to know. And again, there is nothing to be ashamed of. 
We do live together now, do we not? Such things are bound to come up over time. Besides, I don't really mind you looking. It's somewhat flattering, really, even if just a curiosity. <clears throat> well, if you're going to just stand there, then I'm going to insist that you come over here and make yourself useful. You can wash my back. Feel free to take your time. I'm in no rush. I think every woman likes to feel pampered from time to time. Even those of us with scales. And if you behave, I might even let you oil my tail again. You have very skilled hands and a discerning touch. It would be a shame not to use your talent. I could have easily done this myself, of course, but having someone else do it for you is rather nice, don't you think? Oh, and if I were to do it, I'd use my tail. Well, I'm sure my hands and arms could work as well as yours can. My tail is more flexible. <laughs> See? Flexible. <laughs> I can even use it almost like a third hand or arm, which comes in more useful than you might suspect. Mm. Mm. Yes, my tail is useful for many things, I suppose, though I've never really thought of it much. <sighs> After all, you don't often think of how you use your arms, you just use them. Am I correct? Hmm, I thought so. Speaking of which, I think my back is nicely washed now. You did a lovely job. Unless there's more of me you'd like to rub, hmm? <laughs> oh, so sneaking peeks and washing my back are the only things you're after this morning, I see. It's just as well, I suppose. You and I are going on a little day trip. Right. I suppose you wouldn't know. Well, while this forest provides me with most everything I could want or need, there are some items I can't come across easily. 
Namely, humanoid clothes. I thought you might want something that wasn't bandit rags. And I happen to know of a place where we can find some. Though it will be a full day there and back. I see you're confused. As you're no doubt aware, there aren't any human settlements this deep into the forest. There aren't really any settlements to speak of at all, save for the bandit camp. And those scum largely avoid the forest due to the dangers within. Other demi-humans is a good guess, but that's not exactly the case. In the thickest parts of the forest, where few outsiders can go, is a village of elves. Yes, they mostly keep to themselves, so it wouldn't surprise me that you weren't familiar with them. If I need items I can't find for myself, I'll go to trade with them. They also gather medicinal plants and make the best bows for hunting. <sighs> Well, enough talking. Let's get ready to leave. We have a long journey ahead of us. 